Hello, McWarriors! How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, it is time that we're gonna upgrade our Agua a bit because I wanna bring more mechs and vehicles to the battlefield. So, for that reason, we have 21 days for the financial report. For that reason, I'm gonna definitely go to engineering directly. And for the next drop tonnage upgrade, we need a storage space. So, let's get storage space that costs us... Very little, actually. All right, but it takes 30 days. Yeah, we should really get that thing going so we can actually build these um, these drop tonnages up there. Uh, in other news, is there anything that we want to rebuild right now? I would say no. I would say no, definitely, because uh, I want to test this carrier once more. I think the last time we were playing, it was actually quite cool what we did. And I want to see what our Thunderbolts can do on the battlefield once more. So let's take them uh, right through the next mission. So, 15 days for the financial report. Tinker is out of action for 21 days. Aye, aye, aye. So, let's go back to the barracks because I think I need somebody that replaces her for the time being. Basilisk is fine. We have a big sly here. Um, Sure, I'm gonna get some piloting for him. I think that's a good idea. And then we have Buka. Oh, look at that. Buka, Buka, Buka. I want her to be a sensor lock specialist, though. So, we're gonna push definitely uh, sensors there. Absolutely. There is Decca. Decca definitely needs more piloting, question mark. Sure, why not? Let's give him more piloting. So, we got that. We have Geezer. Ugh. Ugh, I say. Yeah, he is, he's not really good, but he's okay. He's alright. I think he just needs a bit more training. Finally, Hacker. Yes, absolutely. I was thinking about him for a while here. He has the military background, so he has negative one recoil, plus one offensive push accuracy, and, you know, the upkeep. But that's really good. That is super good for going for, like, a ballistic gunner rebuild. Technician is fine, Mech Warrior is fine. Mech Warrior does just give him some extra XP, right? Oh, no, initiative now. Okay, okay. A bookish. Side and sensors, pilot upkeep. Merchant gives us a reduced cost. And then he is also Curitan. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna make him... We need more sensor lock specialists, definitely, but he is not the man for it. I'm gonna give him just gunnery. Gunnery and then maybe just awareness. I think that's a good idea. So let's go with that. And we're gonna give him... Mm, increased critical strike chance and plus six to clustering. I think I'm gonna give him the focus fire, just negative recoil. Just stack that and you have a good time using Rax at some point. So we're gonna take him and I'm also gonna give him seven gunnery. Piloting, I think I... Ooh, wait, he could go, he could go really evasive. Uh, let's go with Escapist, maybe? <laughs> let's check this out. And I also want to give him some tactics so he can actually sensor lock and, you know, get a hit out. Cool. We have Hacker. There is King Wolf. King Wolf is basically done. I'm just going to give him just more piloting. That's also good. Then there is... Where were we? Ningyo? Ooh, look at that. That is nine piloting. Pretty good. I love it. That was Ningyo, Skyros, basically doing the same thing. Yeah, we have some real strong pilots already in kind of the alpha lands that we have there. But uh, I do believe at this point we're going to seed in every now and then. We're going to seed in another, another rookie-ish pilot so um, that they can also learn and have a good time. Get more tactics here. Why not? That's good for initiative. And then there's also tax. Tax currently was... Just learning passively in the mech bay, in the training simulators. He is a bookish, dependable, Lurin, mech warrior, military as well. He's also reckless, which I like. That's cool. You have plus one evasion, ignore, and minus one max evasion. Which means... Uh, which is actually okay. It's just maximum evasion at some point. Evasion is not going to be that big of a deal anymore. He is going to be the one in a big mech that just bangs on its own armor and not on evasion. I think I just also want to make him a gunner, so... Let's give him some focus fire. Let's give him... Like, gunnery 6 is okay for now. And I'm also going to give him some tactics, guts, and piloting. That is... That's okay, actually. So, we can actually bring Mr. Tax to the battlefield today. If we want to. I wonder if he also has the, the voice. We'll check it out. Now, that being said... Uh, yeah, there was one more thing that we wanted to do, that I wanted to do, before we get into the game or the, the fights... There is the Kaiju, and I want to see what we can do with our Snubnose uh, Twinling Capacitator PPC that we found on the battlefield the last time. So, let's check that thing out. It's uh, here, right? Can we even put that into the mech? Is a Twinlinked Capacitator PPC possible? It is viable. Alright, so why is that better than a regular PPC? Here's the thing. We have 50 damage, 30 heat, and a minimum range of 90 meters. We have 60 damage, 
60 heat. That is because we fire twice on the twin linked capacitator. Um, and zero minimal range, which is amazing. We should really stack up snub nose PPCs with twin link capacitators to actually get the most out of this here. Or just regular snub noses if possible. This is perf perfect, absolutely. We don't need a range advantage when we can jump super close, super fast. So, big problem. If we want to shoot um, all of the weapons now, we will have a heat problem. However, this here brings two shots to the table, which means I could technically just take the two PPCs out and we still save some weight and save some heat for the same amount of damage, which is amazing. So, what do we do? in terms of additional weapons or equipment in order to kind of level it out? That's the big question now. We have two ballistic hard points. We still have two energy hard points as well. I could, I could just take a plasma cannon, maybe? <laughs> Why not? I mean, do they count as PPCs? No, they don't count as PPCs now. They, they shoot different stuff. I do also have one more missile lot point. So what about, what about, we put that over here. Wait, don't we have two MML-15? I mean, I mean, we cannot do it because we don't have the, uh, we don't have tonnage for additional ammo anymore. And I need additional ammo. I mean, we could also, here's the thing, we could also upgrade the the core just a little bit to a 250 which would be way too heavy now mm. all right but that would increase the or decrease the need of heat management yeah i can i cannot do it i cannot do it let me quickly go back and uh, go go in again because i wanted to reset the build and then we're going to make a better decision maybe i just put something like max shots in here so that it's leveled out i would definitely want the the snub nose PPC. But yeah, what do we have in terms of max shots? There's one max shot cannon, but that thing is too heavy. That's eight tons. Although it brings 40 damage to the table, which is actually quite nice. Haha, -ha, wait. Uh, I wanted to say we are currently overcooling this mech. But I guess... guess we are not doing it. Do we have some short range missiles? What about the micro missile launcher? It's eight tons. Short range missiles. I sold all of them. Great. Good job me. Um, no, 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 support hard points. I have one support hard point. I only have attack though. So this support hard point is obviously uh, completely uh, broken. We cannot take it. Um, yeah, man, I was, I was thinking about dropping this and putting an AMS Mark II in here, but we don't have an AMS Mark II currently. So the only real viable thing would be something ballistic, so we can... We can get some more damage. We're gonna use the tonnage a bit more efficiently. We have two more slots open and four tons. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. What are we doing with the four tons? I mean, currently, I might just wanna go with the max shots and I might just wanna, sure, add what we have here. Maybe a pulse laser and then have a good time with it. Medium X pulse, bam. And then another medium X pulse, bam. So, I know the heat is horrible, but we might be able to, um, you know, do some alternative, uh, alternating turns. Or, here's another thing that we could do. Give me a second, guys, we are getting there. I could... Uh, have another proto, that's interesting. Okay, wait a sec. If we add another proto... Yeah, we're, we're closer, that's good. Closer, closer. The heavy peep is 75, 10 tons. Problem is we're actually running out of slots. So I think, I was thinking that I could drop the heavy peep and get the regular peeps in again. But no. But yes. Yeah, that's how we do it, I think. Wait, can we do it? Okay, quick quick check. I don't think we can. We need one additional free slot. Uh, I'm gonna drop the mag shot. Wait. I just dropped the mag shot. What's going on here? That was weird as hell. But anyway, I think that's how we do it. Uh, and, you know, just for the ease of it, we're gonna leave those PPCs there on the right arm because uh, that doesn't cost us anything to, you know, put them over to the other side. We're gonna drop the heavy peep, we're gonna take the snub nose, and we're gonna add a mag shot. And... Not the cannon. No, 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 no. We're gonna add that thing. And I would say we go in with a little bit, like one heat under optimal cooling. I think that's a good idea here. Yeah, we upgraded our mech. 
<laughs> Another thing that I was thinking about was an active probe or a C3 unit or something, so that we can um, see better and, uh, you know, de destroy enemies, um, um, ECM charges. But anyway, here we are. We have uh, the squad basically ready, three days for the rebuild. All right, and then we're going to dive in into the next mission. Let's check it out. Let's go uh, to the command center. Let's go to a high-scale mission. Oh, man, do I want to ambush that convoy? I think I want to rather capture a base or play a battle. Ambush convoy. Ah, uh, what's that? Target acquisition. Technically doable. Lots of salvages offered here. But I think I want something... Hashtag a quick mission typish. Let's go for an urban three and a half skull battle right now. Currently what we need is money. And again, I wanted to test my... What's going on here? Crazy. I wanted to test my... Um, the carrier, the Thunderbolt carrier once more. So drop tonnage is just about right. We have nobody under Sunder. So we're gonna take... Is it Booker or Giza? I think it's Giza here. Because I want to give him some more experience so he gets the sensor lock ability. And then there's Tex. Who do we... Who do we drop for Tex? I just need to know. Tex might want to go on the on the VTOL, on the red kite. Sure. Tex. Oh, we cannot pilot vehicles. So yeah, I don't want to give him a mech right now. Since we don't really have any good mechs that he can just take. Or maybe he's taking the... Nah, it's fine. We're gonna take Tex later. So... Important thing is that we are getting the hell on the battlefield here. And as you can see, we have some mechs that are just standing around and they're doing nothing right now. The Hunchback, the Avatar, the Orion. I definitely need a rebuild on the Orion though. That thing is um, super outdated. It still has very good accuracy coming in with the Gauss Rifle, a PPC and a Thunderbolt Missile 10. However, um, it needs an XL upgrade to really shine, to really perform, to actually get the most out of it. And ultimately, I think I want to drop that mech. I am more a fan of, let's say, um, of Omni mechs when it comes to uh, build versatility. So the Vulture Mark II, no, sorry, Matok Vulture? Vulture Mark II uh, that we have lying in the, in the storage is, I think, the better Orion because it also brings a good chunk of uh, tarnish to the table and it has all the hard points that we could ever dream of, which means it is just more versatile and it is five tons... Um, lighter and we really got to think about our our drop tonnage limitations here so we cannot go in with all 100 tonnes not even 200 tonnes our tonnage cap is 800 we have three lances to fill which means that if we bring two lances with just 100 tonnes we are full and that means we I think 75 ish tonners bunch of 60 tonners tanks like carrier types of tanks that seems like a good idea to me or um, we just say, screw it, and we're gonna just bring the big toys and, and have fun with just a limited amount of them. That's always an option. So, um, drop here, why not? It's a good spot. And we are in the... <laughs> we are in the urban environment again, which probably might, might mean that we have to defend ourselves in different directions, and we'll probably have to send in multiple squads in different directions here, depending on how many enemies, lances we have. Because if I go like all the way over here and then there's another lance down here, it will take forever to come back here. So I'd, I'd rather engage quickly, I'd rather engage early and split my team. That means that I can finish the mission faster. Who's there? Oh, there's a guy. That is a Marauder 3R. Oh, nice. Hello, Mr. AC5, double PPC, double medium laser. Oh, and the camo looks great. Look at him. Look at this guy. Is that a new camo? I think that's a new camo. I've never seen it in MechWarrior Online. I'm pretty sure. Alrighty. Okay, okay, okay. So, turn 20. Let's see what's coming. We have the stupid bug again, by the way. Turn 17. By the way, that's a Victor. A Pirate Victor. Nice. Was the Pirate Victor coming with a Rotary Autocannon 20? I think there is a variant that has that. A Pirate Rock 20, though. So, reserving once more. Sorry for the wacky camera. Sometimes the game is lagging and then I'm making a move and then it's overreacting Reserve to my reaction. initial movement. Let's, um... I wanted to say, yeah, let's send in a scout. Let's see what we can do here. Scout helicopter. 
That's five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. That's eight sprint. I love that thing. It is so good. Copy that. And now with the additional max evasion, it can get so much out of it. <gasps> a Corsair. Oh, boy. That's a fun little mech that you got there. So, what do we shoot? I think I'm going to shoot this Marauder here. Roger. Uh, that's a little bit of cam laser damage, and that's fine. But there's one more enemy. There's another Marauder. 3S. Shooting uh, PPC or PPCs. There seem to be multiples. Standing by. So, Atlas, do your thang. Going full throttle. Atlas is definitely doing its thang. Let's go. That's gonna be... We only have LK. I thought we were riding Artemis on this, but right obviously back. not. Okay. And that is a right side torso open, which means there is a chance that we destroy AC5 ammo. That's gonna be interesting. Alright, here comes the Nidhogg squad. Definitely going for the Victor already, because the guy in the back, the Marauder, doesn't need much anymore. Ugh, sorry for the lags, guys. I tried to make it quick in this mission here. We're gonna shoot three times, that's fine. Just regular good old three-time shot. I wanna get a better chance to hit later. Perseus, sure. It's what I was kind of planning for. My slow-moving mechs, they only have one target in front of them, and that is the Marauder. So, they might as well destroy a building. Holy shit, man. <laughs> they might as well just go for that. And the remaining fast movers, they can just already go for the Victor or other targets that are presenting themselves. Here we go. Artemis. That's the one that I want. Again, I'm just hoping for ammo explosion right sides also, and I think that's what we're gonna get here. No, we destroyed an AC5, we have a gyro crit, we have him unsteady, but he's not on the ground. Brings me to Decker. So, is he gonna go for the Victor or is he gonna... Yeah, he's gonna go for the Victor, just, you know, regular old three, three fire burst, three shot burst, nothing crazy. Don't wanna run into any kind of um, jam problems right now. Okay, Thunderbolt Carrier, here we go. High explosives, kaboom. Lighting them up. That was pretty explosive. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> so, right side torso, destroyed. Was there ammo in there even? I do believe so. I think there is one bin of AC5 ammo in that right shoulder. High ground on the Kaiju. It's a bit risky, but I'll take it anyway because it's so cool. And we will certainly try to go for Mr. Dude Guy here. We will also shoot our mag shot and... Sure. The double twinning snub nose capacitator shot. Engaging. With a legging! Alright. Pretty good. That is amazing. How did we deal so much damage? Let's say kind of 49 and 48. Kind of weird that it rounded for one PPC with the same amount of base damage, it rounded down to 49, and the snub nose was rounded down to 48. Math, everybody. That's just math. Commander. And that's how it works. Ifrit, strike craft. Double time. Let's go. Okay, let's go for Mr. Center Torso Shot. Marauder is gonna die now. Yes. Oh, and I should overload this. I always, always, always. Bad. Keep on, Mr. Supercharger, go ahead and supercharge. You can turn off the sword right now, you don't need it. I don't think that he's gonna get into any kind of range where he can fire his weapons, but hey, there's hoping. And no, that's a no. Going turbo. Okay, in that case, we will just regularly fire at the ground. Right, Commander. Zap! Nice shotgun type shot that he did there with lasers. What can I do and it is his turn now. Alright, that's cool. Literally. Sure, I'm gonna give those guys a target that Got is it. a that bit better than shooting. the helicopters. And since this good friend here is on the ground already, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up. We also overload our AMS. Hey, not too bad, Mister. Not too bad. Yes, Commander. All right, I like it. LRM Gauss rifle. Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see what we can do with those things. So the hit chance is pretty garbage. But we don't need much on that leg anymore. We got both legs destroyed. That is pretty, pretty good. Oh, there was also an ammo explosion. Uh, I hope that we can salvage that. So, here comes the bomber. And the bomber is gonna 
Sprint for six, sure. I can also use the booster jet, but that thing will rack up a fail chance over time. And I mean, it's pretty clear what we are doing here, right? Uh, let's go. Target acquired. That was underwhelming. I've got no ammo and that was weapons. not much heat. Oh, alrighty. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna try to level this building here. So maybe, just maybe, we can get an angle on them by just moving around the rubble here. What are your orders, Skipper? Geezer is always able to fire, and I think... I think I'm just gonna move into... Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna sprint that. I'm gonna sprint it all the time. 17%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. What if we shoot extended range? Comes down to 10? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. That's the other thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then, uh, yeah, we'll just fire. Trying to splat some damage on him. And that's it. All right. Next up, turn 18. It is the turn of the Marauder. I'm so happy that this is a fast mission. Okay. I mean, seriously, we have four enemies, but those four enemies are actually quite interesting to catch. So let's think about our salvage as well. Uh, I cannot drop high explosive bomb racks. It would destroy the mines. That means I'm gonna... Ah, uh, wait, actually. I'm not gonna drop the high explosives then. I'm gonna drop the infernos. Yes. Let's move. Did I just overtwist? I just overtwisted, right? Yeah. I just overtwisted. Okay. Fine. For <laughs> what else do we have? We have a kaiju, but again, I don't want to destroy. <sighs> Screw that. Do I? PPCs Apply. would most likely destroy the minefield, but I think that's fine here. So we're gonna go vigilance for you know the shaking of the stability problems that we have, and uh, that is. <clears throat> Uh, that is the shot. Acid first, and then everything else. I have it. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Oh, I like that shot. Hmm. Yes, boss. All right, Mr. Hacker. He's damaged on the right side mostly. We would get five evasion if you go up here. And this thing has a turret. That's cool. So it can shoot in any direction, no matter where it ended. Firing. Leg him. Leg him. Perfect. Nice. It was an AC-20 in there. Okay. And a bunch of missiles. Interesting. So. Uh, what's that? How do we get that thing now? I don't know if I even want a Corsair, but I like Corsairs. So, double Thunderbolts. High explosives. Oh, wait a second. Can we go? Thermo? No. Standard? I think it's standard that deals the pinpoint-ish damage. Let's try to hit the second leg somehow. Fire. I mean, we certainly hit something. It was the center torso. Okay. Mr. Decker. On the move. Full speed. Overload the AMS. I think it doesn't matter anymore, but let's do it anyway for good measure. So we're gonna rock it up like five times. We will do controlled bursts, certainly, so we have a lower jam chance. And then. I'm just gonna drop the rock here. I was thinking about more infernos or more high explosive cluster bombs. But then there's also a big minefield and if he moves now, he's probably gonna get a lot of leg damage. That's fine. Those were probably rocket launchers, right? I mean, they're a gun now. And he's overheating. Easy. Okay. Ifrit Strikecraft, give me four evasion. I said four evasion. What? Four evasion? <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna try to attack from the other side, like from here. And I wanna go for his leg, obviously. Good shot, buddy. Very good. Almost one. down. I hear ya. Sorry, T Bone. That's a minefield already? Alright. Yeah, let's go in here. And let's go for, let's say, this leg. We're gonna shoot, like, two of those pulses. Got it. Oh, uh, man. Ammo explosion. No, that was a side torso. Okay. Fine. Fine. 
So we definitely need five evasion yeah. here or more. So we're gonna try to get him to the back of the Marauder. Ideally, we're gonna Copy use one that. of our bomb dudes to overheat him or maybe even kill him. Let's orders. check out if that's possible. Decker, give me a back shot. Come on. Backshot is a lie. Now we can actually do it. It will take a... Or we will take a little bit of damage mm, from our own bombs. But I think that's fine since we might be able to kill this now. And tanks have no repair cost anyway. Okay. Unsteady. Same thing here. Yeah. Oh, 97%. Hell yeah. Let's actually put them to... Should have done it earlier as well. Uh, those um, AMSs are going to be machine guns now. And this is an all-in shot. Go for it. It must be the kill. Seriously. And that is a kill. Perfect. Mission successful. Good first mission. Yeah. That was quick. We're gonna try another one and see... I mean, first of all, we're gonna see what we can salvage from the battlefield here. Those were some interesting mechs with interesting equipment. Especially the pirate Victor. Maybe I should take a look at that thing. I mean, maybe, maybe Evicta is the mech that we need to actually balance our weight. We still have an assault mech, but in a lower tonnage bracket, 80 tons. It's, you know, it's okay. Corsair completely, completely messed up. That's a pirate AC-20. All right, it's 75 damage for 14 tons times two. That's a recoil of five and a damage variation. Wow. 50% critical hit chance. Um, misfire multiplier can explode. Doesn't say which ammo type it takes. Turn two AC-20 into a sort of shotgun. Mm. Super short range though. That's not great. That's an ER medium pirate laser. Wait a second. Weapon damage variation. Multiplier to charge attack damage. And negative 5% to charge attack self damage. Okay, that's what it is now. I see, I see, I see. Do we want that? Do we want to go for more charge attacks? I mean, we have that amazing sword. But I mean, pirate laser... We're gonna take that ER pirate laser. We we're gonna do something with that. You see one, you take one. This is kind of still the rule. It is not flat damage anymore. It's just charge attack. But it's a percentage-based multiplier. Which means that thing scales. Quite nicely, even. All right. Uh, engine core needed? Yes, no, maybe? Maybe, actually. Yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, that's a radical proto double heatsink kit and two proto heatsinks. Ah, uh, screw the engine, I'll take the radical and I'm gonna take one PDHS. There we go. Maybe we get the second one even. That's a good haul here already. So, AC20, pirate AC20. I mean, we have it. Interesting thing about this here is it takes the support slot, which means there are some options. You can put that on top of, for example, another ballistic if you have limited hard points. That's pretty good. We have a pirate SRM4. What's the pirate in that? Deals 10 damage four times. 20% more damage against overheating targets. And 50% additional critical chance. It's good. Negative one accuracy and a jam chance. Whatever. That thing is good. Holy crap. Okay. Nice. We got some basic cockpits. Sure. The value. Some heat sinks. The double proto. Like twice the proto heat sinks. Nice. A standard engine and... Five bins of AC-20 ammo, we never need that much. Okie dokie, first mission done. Dude, does it mean I'm gonna take... Wait a second, does it mean I'm gonna take this pirate laser and put it into my melee mech? Or do I stick to my X-Pulse lasers, which are just more accurate and they are actually doing a quite a nice job doing the job? I don't know. I mean, it has a direct benefit for melee attacks. Deals more charge damage. And since I'm... No, wait, while I'm not... Charging that often sometimes, it really comes in handy. And it is a 5% upgrade and a 5% less self-damage. That would free up a ton. Uh, let's take a look. I think we gotta turn assumptions into facts before we make a decision. So let's take a look at our mech. By the way, we need 1 million seabills for the upkeep. That's insane. Ah, the problem is we don't even have enough slots. We have patchwork. That's how we, yeah, that's how we manage that thing. Uh... I can actually drop this double heat sink. We don't need perfect cooling. I think we even need the opposite. And I'll put that into the 
the torso so we can use it while we are moving uh, towards the front line and hacking and slashing. Because the, the hands are occupied, like the arms are occupied with the sword attack. And that means um, if we are charging in with a sword attack, physical weapon attack, we can only use the uh, torso mounted weapons uh, to supplement the attack. So I think this is how we're going to do it here. We actually increase our damage output and on top of that at mid range. Although these have amazing range already. Yeah, that's good. All right. Cool. That settles that. And uh, I'd say... 21 days here. I think, you know what, we're gonna try to break even in terms of our upkeep, our financial report. And then we're gonna make decisions on what we're gonna do, what we're gonna build, and um, what we're gonna change in terms of our our all, our whole mech situation. I was really thinking about getting the Vulture on the battlefield. Maybe even dropping the Atlas. I know, right? It's, it's weird, it's crazy. <laughs> but let's check it out. We will get to the command center once more. And I want to play something similar. Ooh, wait, what's that? Where does that blackout come from? Was it there the whole time? Let's get it, guys. That's good money and a good salvage. And it's a blackout. It's very much doable for us. Since the enemies are coming in one by one. Alright. We're gonna be doing exactly that here. Cool, cool, cool. We still have our Hunchback and the Avatar and yeah, then the SD Ryan. Hmm. I mean, the optimal way to do this here would possibly, probably be the dropping the Atlas, honestly. The thing is two Gauss rifles and two LRMs. And then, of course, the lasers, but the lasers are very, very rare in terms of uh, the amount of their, 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 their shooting time. <laughs> it's, that's not a sentence. I didn't know where I wanted to go with that, but anyway, you know what I mean, right? So, the medium lasers shoot very rarely, which means they are not really helpful, which means they are dead tonnage, which means we have four ER medium lasers plus the cooling for them. That is eight tons, basically, that we are, or maybe even nine, ten tons, that is not relevant in the, bu in the build right now. What is what it's doing is, um, again, the two Gauss rifles and the two LRMs, which are good weapons, don't get me wrong. Mm, but I'm thinking, can I take it out of the Atlas? Can I put it into something else that is lower tonnage and more efficient? You know, having the same amount of weapons on a similar mech that just doesn't take all the tonnage in the world. And then bring another mech that brings more damage, more tonnage. So, trying to find the sweet spot between... Um, how many vehicles and, and, and mechs can I bring to the battlefield and what are they loading? And you also always got to think about every mech warrior, every additional mech warrior on the battlefield is a mech warrior that brings skills to the table. That's another mech warrior um, that, first of all, is another target for the enemies. And that might have another sensor lock, that might have another offensive push ready, that might be able to uh, split the damage a bit. Because it's basically, if you bring two mechs to the table that are half the ton of one mech, you basically have multi-target. And that is versatility that is super important sometimes. It's just what I'm saying. So I think more is better in this case here. Okay, but I don't want to bring light mechs, so there has to be a, a certain threshold of armor. Alrighty, so let's bring everybody in. The green hell. Uh, that's sometimes quite difficult, but we will check it out. So, get in here, everybody. Trigger this thing with the VTOLs. Red kite goes here. The other ones go here. And we have an ambush. Boom! There we go. The drop pod's coming down. So, let's see. What do we have here? That's a raptor. We can deal with the raptor, no problem. The Cataphract might have some damage. There is also an... Oh. Oh. Do you see what I see? A Rakuten Risk and an ATM-12. That Dragon Risk is amazing. Uh, Shadowhawk 2C. Two Plasma Clan and a bunch of AP Gausses. That's honestly quite insane what they bring here. Let me get some... Let me get some evasion, please. Oh, God. Oh, 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 and AMS. Uh, the AMS has to go overload, like, directly. So, Ifrit goes over here. Coordinates received. Okay. We only have four evasion on the on the kite. That's not great. That is pretty bad. Heading so, that way. bit of distance with the carrier because it's squishy. And yes, I do believe we have to engage directly. 
Do those guys have spawn protection? They do not. Okay. That is a very good benefit for us. I'm gonna directly go into the back of the dragon because that rock 10 is so scary. And I want to have it. Copy that. Yeah, that's an open air. That's an, that's an open back. And we we can follow up. That's perfect. I will not use my my Inferno Missiles bombs yet. This is just an Artemis shot, and I just hope that we can get something done. And we could get something done. Okay. Very nice. Alrighty. I'm so happy about that. So let's uh, let's go for an attack, a physical weapon attack. Don't want to overheat. AMS Mark II overload. Attack to Shadowhawk and kill him. I hope the 255 damage is enough. I mean, our TSM is currently not active. But we also have the lasers that might help. Oh, there's an arm down. Where would we fire now? Oh, we did fire. Yeah, I think we did fire. I just didn't realize. Okie dokie. Then. I think we're going to shoot the Raptor while we can. That makes a lot of sense to me here. Hey, Raptor, how are you, buddy? Let's go ahead and shoot you six times and shoot the cluster bombs as well. Firing. And that's a leg down. I love it. I'm under heavy fire. All right. Man, do we just ace this mission? Receiving you. Here comes Decker? No, here comes Skyros. Skyros, can you get direct line of sight? The answer is yes. I copy. And let's utilize it then. And we should be able to sensor lock this dude. I've got a sensor lock. I mean, he is stealth currently, is he? Yeah, he was stealth. Uh, no, we actually have a hit chance. I'm gonna shoot clusters. That's one laser, two lasers destroyed. What the hell is that cataphract? Holy shit, man. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm gonna go in and shoot him a bit more because I'm legitimately scared of this dude. Six times. The cluster bombs as well. We're gonna keep the bomb rack infernos. And that's a chain reaction that led to a side towards the destruction, a knockdown. And he was running an Ultra Auto Cannon 10. That is good. Cool. Position confirmed. Please kill that? Question mark? Very nice. Double leg destruction. That means we can actually salvage some great stuff from Mr. Mr. Dude Guy here. Mr. What was his name? Raptor? Yeah. Skipper, full speed, no target. Oh, but legs, whatever. It's probably gonna be center torso mostly, and then we're gonna crit him. Oh, we just destroy the structure. All right, so the hawk is on the ground. Man, everything is looking so good today. Uh, by the way, we can do, we can try to go for a headshot here. Let's enable D and I. By the way, zip. Should always do that. Always forget it anyway. Fire. I guess he's dead. Farewell, sweet prince. <laughs> All right, Sly. You gotta jump afterwards. Primitive. And we are technically out of combat again, right? What's that? So get the carrier in once more. Marix are done, and it is our turn. All right, cool. That was so easy. Roger that. But I don't mind. So next up, um, we gonna wait a second. Supercharger is off. Sword is on. Whatever. Sure. Affirmative. Gotta make sure that I'm gonna turn off the things that might have a chance to explode. Look, Mom, I'm flying. Ah, and then we're gonna spam click. Aye, aye. Um, sure, VTOLs. VTOLs go over here. The VTOLs I'm gonna send over here on the high ground, and the rest of the mechs over here to the low ground. Let's see if we can get it done. On my way. So, and the reason, you might have guessed already, the reason for it being that um, there is a chance that we have building destroyers. And these guys have to Absolutely. have to get under control quite quickly. So, the Kaiju and the VTOLs. It's all overloaded. Great. Um, they're gonna try to contest this area and try to overheat everybody who is, you know, on that high ground situation and try to kill it instantly. And the rest of the guys are gonna go down here. Heading that way. Allied's turn. So we should be technically out of active combat, right? I think we are, yes. Move order received. 
So Valkyrie goes there, Kaiju goes here. Roger that. It is so cool. We are completely unobstructed in terms of our movement with the Kaiju. I love it. It's basically also a VTOL-ish thing. A jumping mech, a flying mech. You're done. Decker. Where are you, Deck? There we go. You're done. What's going on? There we go. King Wolf. No problem. Man, I love this game. That's such a good day for us today because we are actually making some great progress without really being contested. But that might change. I might jinx it right now. I got you. So I'm thinking. Um I'm thinking we take like three more turns until everybody is like here-ish and then we can start this whole thing. I mean, I'm pretty confident that our VTOLs can handle the situation up here on the high ground. Oh, and honestly, I'm gonna just dumb, dumb, Holding here. dumb, do that, so that we have a faster progression of getting into position. Like this, like this. Location confirmed. Uh, you can also stay there for the moment. Fly, stop it here. Roger. Venting heat and so, Hacker uh, does nothing, Decker does nothing, Strider does nothing, King Wolf does nothing. N nothing? Yes, exactly. This is how the Germans speak. And I'd say, yeah, I want to be like here is on this kind of field. Copy that. Moving out. You can already set up here. Zip. Looking good, looking solid. You're done. Decker, actually move a bit forward. Strider, move a bit forward. Slowly but surely we're actually getting there. Okay, and then there's Basilisk. Cool thing about Basilisk, he doesn't need range. He has an indirect firing double Thunderbolt 20 attack pattern that is, you know, giving him all the options in the world. He just needs to be somewhere to be relevant. Okay. So, Mr. Sly, get up on the high. Ningyo, Ningyo, Ningyo. And then there's Hacker, just chilling there, Decker chilling there, Strider chilling there, King Wolf chilling there. And then again, Mr. Basilisk. So, guys, it is time that we're gonna trigger this whole event now. So, let's get as close as possible. Affirmative, Commander. Uh, like here. You betcha. Go down here. Engaging jump jet. I... Do we trigger it already? I don't know. Heading out. I definitely need to move now so that I have my six evasion on the red kite. That is a minimum. I cannot just brace and defend it there, but I think this is where we go in. Give me give me four or five evasion. Five is good here. On the move. Okay, got it set up. King Wolf, same thing, just switching flanks for evasion. Acknowledged. We have our AMSs overloaded. Everything is kind of safe. If anything tries to shoot missiles from here. It's gonna be so disrupted. And then we have Mr. Basilisk. Let's go on the high ground here. Sure. That's a good spot. Wait, we are still not engaged. That's weird. I thought we would be. I copy. Now we would be, right? So, what's it gonna be? We gotta def yeah, we gotta defend the buildings. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, it's a yeoman. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is the big boombox with double shoulders of doom. Lots of rockets. And two heavy PPCs. Alright, got it. Um, this here is a Marauder 2. Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh, a Calliope. Okay, cool. And the last guy is a tank. A goblin medium tank with a large laser and a machine gun. Okay. So we got some stuff there. Interesting. Move order received. Um, cannot shoot yet. Let's jump over here. I, again, I just want to switch flanks Confirmed. for some evasion. That's important. So thanks, hacker. Get five down here. Everything's AMS protected. That's so insane. Get four. Four is fine. Location confirmed. Okay, and you're just gonna move behind them. Funny thing about this here is we can attack the ground, and I will. I'm gonna attack the ground here with not kinetics, not with Murf, with thermos. And I wanna see them up. if I can start overheating them already. 
Yeah, we got some damage in. That's fine. And we also have them blinded. There goes the paint job. It doesn't really help against Standing buildings, by. the blindness, but okay. So, question is, do we engage? Do we attack? I don't think we're going to attack with the red kite, Where'd but we also have the mines. I like that. Sure, let's go in. I copy. Go ahead, warlord it up, and shoot everything against the back of Mr. Mr. Who is scary. Rear armor it is. Dropping a bunch of mines. And we got a bit of heat damage out. Reporting multiple weapons. Let's do this. Alright, you gonna wait, mister? What can I do for you? And we have T-Bone. Whoa, that's a bad mine drop. Oh, that means the T-Bone cannot really get in unless he's getting all the way around here. Um, hmm. That's a problem. So we're gonna leave T-Bone where he is right now. We have Mr. Decker still. Doing basically the same thing. He has to sprint in order to get to his back, but that is fine. Full speed, no target. Oh wait, and we cannot use the high explosives, the clusters, because they would destroy the mines and I want to keep the mines online. So, control burst, mister. Don't you dare jamming. Got the angle, taking the shot. We actually got some hits in. That is insane. Waiting on you, Commander. So T Bone is gonna wait. Waiting for orders. Same thing here. Huh? Not quite. Yeah, there we go. Roger. So Nidhogg number two. We have not the clusters, but the bombs, infernos, and then again Fire another out. nice six times shot in his back. Sadly, we couldn't destroy him yet. Inflicted some heavy <laughs> What's up, boss? Hmm, uh, not great. So Skyros is also not able to do anything right now. Now it is the turn of our enemies. The Yeoman moving forward through the mines. It's getting actually a significant of mine damage to his legs. Alright, so the mine damage is super high. I should not run through this thing with the T-Bone at all. That's for sure. Hmm, damn it. They destroyed one of the buildings already, right? Yeah. One must survive, a three remain. Roger, Skipper. Alrighty. Ah, we don't have line of sight here. Artemis is helping a little bit, but I think we have to really destroy that yo man. It's kind of funny that he was going all in with his heat. Look at him. It's just overheating. Calliope also moving through the mines. AMS is holding. Good. That's important. And the mine to leg damage is just insane. Wow, great, I love it. Let's go. Let's go. We, we, wait, 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 wait. If we sensor lock this dude, would we get a better hit chance? So the evasion is unchanged. Period. That's it. Firing. So we won't get a better hit chance. We have a very serious center torso hit though. Goblin moving forward doing nothing. That is much appreciated. Now that the Marauder is open, I think we're gonna go point blank. I want to try to destroy him now. Let's see. That is a side to also destroyed. Perfect. Yeah. That hit something. I'm your spaniel. Hmm. With. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the kaiju. Should have used DNI. Doesn't matter though, because we're gonna kill him. Firing on rear arc. There we go. Got him. Oh, by the way, another thing that I just realized we could do is going for machine guns on this build. We have two ballistic hard points. We could put a machine gun array or two in this mech. Um, being able to crack up armor and then shooting machine guns into the you. weak spots. That would have, could have been a good thing. Or could be a good thing in general. Alright, let's supercharge it up. Get five evasion at the very least. Maybe even six. No, five is the number. We have massive visuals here. I like it. And we're gonna shoot that. Time to die. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Heading that way. So, Goblin is standing right next to him. Do I do thermal? I could. I could try to go for criticals here. He's running jump jets, heat sinks, and the engine is also there, which means he is running a as it running a light engine. I think in that case we're gonna go for some high Lighting explosives. Good damage. It's a bit splashy, but his front armor is basically gone. Which means... Oh yeah, we can follow up with some clusters. Sure. Fire everything. No, that was six damage. And we have turrets! That are dropping mines. Even more of them. Okay. 
Thank you. And missiles, which have no impact. Or maybe they also wear mines. That's a big gun. That is... Wow. Wow. He is at the brink of falling down. So let's think about salvage for a second. I mean, those guys are gonna die anyway. I don't think that we can lose this mission at all. Unless we are doing exactly nothing. Oh, come on, man. Just go. Give me a yo man and some of those heavy PPCs, maybe? No? Aw, oh, come on, dude. Do for you? Uh, the Valkyrie is just gonna stay. I'm not gonna do anything. Actually, let's turn off the supercharger and the sword, and we're gonna do a stand and shoot move. Mm, center? Leg? Leg. Probably hit center also randomly and kill him. Nope. Need something, Chief? Double time, let's go. Double time, let's go. Let's go ahead and shoot the... Actually, let's try to sensor lock this tank. For a better hit chance. And you know what? We just need to alpha strike a bunch of times and then they are gone. So, I hit chance. Giving them everything I've got. I tried to kill, but we didn't get him. Think I hit something He's good. panicked, though. What's up, boss? Makes it easier for Decker and the others. Funny thing about Decker is that he actually maintained his ruck this round. Although he shot six times with it. So, that's definitely a thing that we're gonna be doing now. Switching to caseless, getting the tank. And it's a double kill because of the explosion that kind of carried over to the yeoman on the ground and got the last damage in that was needed to get the kill. That is so good. Uh, Nidhogg, bomb racks. Um, it's not gonna get any better. Target locked. Enemy six. So we try to Target destroy and knock this hit. Calliope and then we're gonna go home. He actually has another Losing turn though. Heavy and he's getting a shot in with a plasma cannon? Alright. So, yet again, here comes the Atlas, just shooting the big guns. Locking on target. That is his arm. That was a plasma cannon. Mm. All right. Those things are actually quite interesting to catch, to to salvage, but we don't, we won't get them now. Man, those missiles! It's just crazy. The barrage, the wall of missiles, kind of arcing around and intersecting each other's paths. So cool. Let's go home. Second mission, easy game, guys. I love it. We need to get to a planet where we can play four, five skull missions. Four, four and a half, five skull missions now. I think it might be a good idea to actually swap the next patch that I'm going to have. I'm probably going to swap to um, company rating, um, like difficulty based on company rating and not on planet rating anymore. Because at this point, we just want the high skull missions. I think we are ready. We are more than ready to get the things done. And we want to get the good stuff from the battlefield. So that's going to be a thing. We have this Marauder 2 here. It's a plus four cluster, 20% call shot chance and plus one offensive push accuracy. That thing is amazing. Huh. What else is there? There's the Yeoman 60 tonner, which is interesting. There's an ATM-12 clan. I mean, since we are actually really on the hunt for clan equipment, because it's really hard to come by for us in the Inner Sphere, we should definitely take that ERPPC here. Or do we? That thing generates so much heat. That is 75 damage for 56 heat. Our snub nose twin incapacitator thing, like the thing that we just built in this episode, is 60 damage times 2 for 60 heat. And we don't need the extended range of this thing. That's what I mean. I don't think that we're going to take it. Unless we're going to put it into some backliner. Maybe the Atlas, you know. Double Gauss, single ERPPC, and... Double LRM-15. There's a heavy PPC? That thing would be better. Sure, it has a recoil of two. But we have a recoil modifying um, thing, you know. Oh, we have one of those already. Oh yeah, that was one of the ones that we, um, that we just uh, took out. A clan LB-10. Now that is something. I want that. Yes, it's a good weapon. A clan plasma. Also, we have one. We could take another one. Because there are only three tons. 
I like it. Let's take some clan stuff here. Cockpit clan. Come sweet double plus. It's alright. It's an okay thing to have. No clan XL. We completely destroyed that mm, Shadowhawk. There is another Predator, but since we have one lying around, I don't think that we need him. XL Gyro, Compact Gyro. There are some clan double heat sinks. But no thank you. The Radical Double Heatsink Kit is good. That is some money at the very least. Upper Hardened. Negative 5% damage taken is pretty good. And resistant to critical. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And it brings case. So that means you can actually store ammo in the arms without a problem. Wolf is Sweet Mark 2. That thing is actually quite amazing, right? It is EWS and Active Probe and C3 unit. Let me let me take a look at the numbers. So it is a uh, 3 shield and reduces enemy shield by 2. Protects the carrier with an ECM shield of 2. Um, <laughs> C3 system, 3 sensor ping. Wow, LS received 8% sensors and 5% distance. Um, I'm thinking about that on the King Crab here. And an active probe establishes a sensor lock on all enemies within the 310 meter radius. Two turn cooldown. I mean, we can use that as an active. I'll take it. I'll just take it. And then we're going to decide what we're going to be doing with it. A double bin of plasma. That's good. I could also take the marauder part. Wait, do we have some marauder parts already? It kind of feels like we have. I saw some and then I was probably deciding against it. It's another 100 ton mech, but it could be a headshot seeker. Plus 4 cluster, plus 20% cold shot chance. Wow. That is frankly insane. What do we drop for it? I think it's a double bin of plasma ammo. Because I do believe we can get some anywhere. Yeah, I'll do it. So we'll take the Marauder because it's just a cool mech. I, love, I really like Marauders. They are kind of my favorite type of mechs, aesthetically. And why not take it then? So we get a Cataphract part, a Goblin part, a Raptor. We got a Shadowhawk, AP Gauss. That's nice. The Rockets, Incendiary. I'm not really interested in that. We get a Machine Gun, a Clan Cockpit, an XL Engine that we will probably just sell for money. Another Predator. I sell it. Yep. Guardian ECN and Omni Hand. Nice. Upper Harden, the Warfare Suite, the Double Plasma Bin, and the Haywire Narc Bin. Alright, I'd say that was a pretty good haul, guys. That was amazing. And that was your episode of Rogue Take for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.